So I just saw the movie called Indivisible. This is a movie review for Christians. Pray the movies. And uh, it's about an army chaplain. So this is a faith-based film. It's already about Christian faith by Christian, uh, a Christian production company, I guess. And uh, the uh, acting is actually pretty good. I was, and it, it's kind of a tearjerker movie. Uh, but also, there's some real action and action scenes because this military chaplain he's just out of seminary it's apparently based on a true story and he gets thrust right into uh, into a job assignment in Iraq or I guess it's Iraq maybe Afghanistan no I think it's Iraq because they showed President Bush talking about deploying to Iraq so anyways it's over in that area and uh, And so he's he's off to the war, and meanwhile his wife and two kids are back at home, and I think they're in Georgia, Fort Stewart, Georgia. And he calls them every now and then. Meanwhile, he's doing his job as a chaplain, brand new chaplain, praying with the soldiers. He even goes out with them on their assignments. So he's in danger too, but he doesn't carry any weapons. And uh, trying to help the uh, soldiers with their struggles in life and questions about faith and this and that. He's a Christian chaplain, by the way. I, I know most people assume that, but the army also does have chaplains of other faiths, of their other religions as well. And my dad is a chaplain. He was a chaplain. He is still, but uh, kind of retired now. But yeah, he not a military chaplain though. He was just a chaplain in the in the hospital, di different hospitals, and as a church chaplain as well. And um, and so they have a camaraderie as chaplains. He goes to a conference every year where he gets together with the, his fellow chaplains from his denomination our denomination uh, and I also I went to a conference once for pastors and chaplains and there were a lot of military chaplains there in Washington DC good group of guys in general you know what you would expect uh, to be a chaplain I mean especially in the military I suppose they have uh, at least master in divinity requirements, things like that. But uh, they kind of make a joke this, out of that. Uh, when he gets in this movie review for Christians for Indivisible, and somehow, some for some reason, it just went off on me the video. So I'm gonna have to combine the two videos. And uh, so he's over there in Iraq. He's all very positive. You know, with some soldiers who've been there for a while, they're, you know, they're a little more jaded. They've seen some of their fellow soldiers die, this and that. But he's positive at, at, at the beginning, right? <laughs> and he gives them hope and encourages them in their faith or to come to faith. Does a baptism for everybody. One of the soldiers he baptizes, and the next day he gets killed out in, out in the field. And then uh, he comes back, he returns back to his home, and he begins experiencing uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and starts having problems with his family, his wife, and then he goes back, he, he, I mean, he uh, not goes back, but he goes to counseling uh, with his wife, and with the uh, head chaplain, military chaplain, and so that seems to help, and he gets another job. I mean, a, a non a non chaplain job. He's working in a a, a nursery. I mean, a, not a kids nursery, a nursery for flowers. And little by little, he starts to stabilize and come back to 
good health, mental health, and it's a happy ending. So, what would I say for, uh, for Christians for this movie? Well, uh, what I was watching, I was praying for our troops, you know? But what I would say, pray for our troops, appreciate our troops, but sometimes, like, seeing something like this kind of reignites that fire for to remember and appreciate your troops, what you're going through. I mean, things have kind of calmed down now, uh, in general, in, for our military. Uh, not a lot of, you don't hear a lot of deaths of American troops in the last, uh, for a while now. It's, I mean, every now and then something crazy happens, but we can be thankful that they're not in the direct line of fire right now, not like... intense as they used to be but uh, I also had an uncle who was uh, he was a soldier in Vietnam and Germany I think he may have been Korea too I don't know but uh, he died at a young age not because of uh, any injuries he was a lieutenant colonel so he's way up there probably didn't do a lot of traffic line of fire stuff, but he did become, uh, he might have had PTSD, he did, he did turn to alcohol for a lot of his issues, he, he had, he had stopped drinking when he died, but it may have been, some, you know, some of the health issues that arise from too many years of alcoholism, whatever the case may be, we're just proud of his, what he did for us, for our country, but you know, sad that we lost him at such an early age. It's hard on his family. It's hard on military families. He had a big family, uh, and two of the kids died at a very young age just because of <clears throat> uh, issues, you know. And a lot of it's because they, these military families get pushed, get moved around all the time. So. The kids might grow up in many different locations. And that's hard for them without having any roots. So let's keep that in mind too, you know. Even if they're not in the line of fire, they're not, you know, just the, the, the military career is, is difficult for, for some families. So we pray for our troops, continue to pray for, the, for their well-being and Hopefully, most of all, that they'll accept Christ as Savior and be saved so they can know whatever they do that they'll be saved in the end. And we pray for, uh, for all of us Christians to keep telling the good news, shining the light, being Christian evangelists here and there and everywhere. God be with you all and bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.